guys, Jen here. So today we're going to make a winter snowball festive wreath. I would like to call it frosty, but it's not a snowman wreath, so I won't call it frosty. Anyway, so I'm using blue and white. So I picked these up at Hobby Lobby in their Christmas section, 50% off. So I'm going to use four rolls, to four rolls total, um, two blue, two white. Then my decorations, I picked up these really cute um, ice skates from Target in the little dollar section. And I haven't decided if I'm going to use one skate or if I'm going to use two skates, but they were $5. So if you use one skate, you would very easily be able to get um, two wreaths out of this. Then, um, oops, sorry, I hit my camera, didn't I? Okay, so I also have these really cute snowballs. They were $3.99, and they're in the Christmas stuff, so they're 50% off at Hobby Lobby. And they're called Large Tinsel Pom Poms, and you can see they're so fuzzy. I love them. But um, they had some of these back with, like, the Christmas stuff, and they were, like, $9.00. And then I was walking around, and these are actually with, like, all the little um, make it, take it type stuff right in front of the scrapbooking stuff, if your store is set up like mine. Um, it was not with the actual Christmas stuff. So keep that in mind. It is this um, make it Christmas um, parts for holiday projects. So um, they had it with, like, the snowman hats, stuff like that. Then I also have these uh, little Christmas ornaments that are snowballs, and these were with like the mini tree items um, at Hobby Lobby. Again, 50% off. And then I got this cute little ornament that says, let it snow. And I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. It was $3.99, but I got this before I found the skates, because my target was out of skates forever. So, um, but we might use this. We might not. I don't know. It's cute though, isn't it? Then for my ribbons, I've got these really pretty silver ribbons. This one, I don't know if you can see with the camera, but it's kind of, this silver part is sheer, is more sheer. And then of course the silver and white polka dots. And then this one is the stripes. And this is more um, fabric-y, I would say. This one is, is satin, but this is definitely fabric. These came from Joann's. Uh, these were $9.99, but they were 60% off for the door buster. Then I have from last season, these from or this one is from Walmart, these cute little snowflakes. And if you watch my other um, snowball wreath, I used this ribbon in that wreath. So this is what's left, so we'll get a couple pieces out of there. And then this ribbon, I'm not sure where this came from, $9.99. Um, I could guess Walmart, but um, this is like a fabric, and then this really pretty glitter, and that matches this um, glitter, this blue tone in my um, mesh. So, let's get started. We're going to start cutting up our mesh. Oh, I'm using a large 16-inch frame, and I'm actually using a work I keep hitting that. I'm so sorry. I'm actually going to use a work frame this time. And the only reason I'm using it is because that's what I have available. And um, I have a lot of the dollar store wreaths, but because my skates are so large, I felt like I needed a larger frame. So we're going to use the work wreath frame. And I know I'm going to go in, I'm going to add some with the pipe cleaners, but um, I'll show you how to use this if you've never used one before. I am not fond of them, but we're going to make it work. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut our mesh up, and we're going to cut it at, uh, I believe, 10 inches. So let's get this set up here. So let's see how raggedy. Well, that looks doesn't look too bad. I always like to look at that first end. I'm going to trim this off a little bit just to get a nice clean edge. And what I'm using to cut is a Fisker's Rotary Cutter. And this is a Fisker self-healing cutting mat. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me that. So, and 
This white mesh is the very same mesh that you would find in the regular mesh section at Hobby Lobby, but they have it labeled differently for Christmas. So, um, but it is the exact same. I bought two rolls, um, one in the Christmas section and the other in the wedding section so I could compare so that you would know for sure, just in case. So that way when Christmas season is over and they start putting things on sale, you can stock up on white because it seems like I always need white, whether it's for Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day. Just seems like white is the color that you add with everything else, right? So, okay. So I'm just laying my mesh on top of each other so that I can cut them together. And I'm going to cut them at about, let's say 10 and a half inches. And this should curl up nicely. Let me just double check and make sure that it's the size I want. I think that looks good. So I would say anywhere between um, nine, or 10 and a half and 11 inches would be perfect for your curls. <clears throat> so we'll get some of these cut up and then I'm going to show you how to put these together into bundles that you can put on your wreath. So there's a few bundles cut, or a few mesh, mesh, mesh cut. Now I'm going to cut some ribbon. And what I typically like to do is cut my mesh kind of as I go, but I like to cut all of my ribbon, or at least the majority of my ribbon, so that I have it ready. So I'm just going to cut off this fold, because it's kind of hard to get out of there once you fold it. Toss that, and then I like to cut my ribbon at 15 inches. And the reason I do that is I really like ribbon and I like it to really show out of my wreath. So I'm gonna cut it at 15 inches. You could do 14, 13, 12. It just really depends on how much you want that ribbon to pop out. So I'm gonna try and measure this here. My measurement's way down there. Let's do, I think I'll do 14 and a half actually. <clears throat> So I'll just cut a bunch of this ribbon and I like to get myself a pile of the different styles that I'm going to be using. I like this ribbon. This is really good quality ribbon. So there's a couple of those. Um, I'll cut the rest of this off camera. I don't want to waste your time. A couple of these. that one. Let's cut this one. I really like this ribbon. Whoop. My tower of mesh is falling down. I hope this isn't blurry for you guys. My camera, I have a new camera stand and it's super high up now. Um, I heard you are pleased to get farther away from my job. So I have built a new camera stand. Unfortunately, now that it's so tall, I can't get above it to really see um, the auto adjust. So I know last time I made a video with this, it was adjusting to the stand here. So everything was a little bit blurry. So I tried to put it on manual focus, focus and we'll see how it goes. So if it's a little bit blurry, please don't hate me. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of every color. So let me show you what I like to do with this ribbon is I like to kind of ducktail it. So I'm going to fold it in half, fold it in half again. On this folded side, I'm just going to cut to the corner. 
and that gives me that nice ducktail or chevron, whatever you want to call it. So you're going to do that to all of your, of your ribbon. So guys, really the cutting of the ribbon and the cutting of the mesh is what takes forever. Actually putting the, the wreath together is, does, is not all that time consuming. It's all this cutting. So I will sometimes, you know, cut for a little while, make a pile, and come back and put my wreath together when my son is sleeping. It's hard for me to cut with him around too because he likes to, I want to cut. He's three. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut all these, oh, that one looks like I used that one before, let's cut that off. This ribbon is really thin feeling compared to the other. It's very, it's still very high quality, but because this is sheer, I feel like it doesn't have that um, density. As the others even this that um, blue one is very thick because of the glitter and then this is fabric this is not satin it's fabric okay let's do some bundles so the other thing you're going to need are some pipe cleaners if you're not using a work frame okay so I'm going to show you both ways to do it. I'm going to show you how to do it with the work frame. And I'm going to show you how to do it if you have um, like a Dollar Tree frame or just a regular wire frame. So you're going to need some pipe cleaners. And sometimes I'll match my pipe cleaners to the wreath. But because this is, is going on a, a solid door, you're not going to see the back. And <coughs> excuse me, I want it to be full so... It's not going to require, you're not going to see them, okay? Alright, so now, let's fold the mesh, okay? So you're going to need both of your colors, your blue and your white. So let's fold this up. You're going to take it and you're just going to roll it. It has a natural curl to it, okay? So you're going to roll it up. You don't want it under a real tight curl, okay? You can see about how big that is. You're going to want that... Um, open side palm down and do the same thing to your white curl it up okay put that in your hand I like to crisscross and then you're going to take a piece of the ribbon it doesn't matter what color you use just keep in mind as you're adding ribbon you want to alternate where you put it in your wreath so that you don't have you're not stuck with like you know, all of your polka dot on one side and all your stripe on another. Then I'm going to use this yellow one so you can see it better. But you're going to take your pipe cleaner, which is that half pipe cleaner that has a piece of glue stuck to it, <laughs> and crisscross it in your hands. Okay. You're gonna, your goal is to cross all of your pieces. So I crisscross it and then I like to fold it in half. Now you can see my pipe cleaner sticking out of there, right? Pull it down. And this is where you're going to tighten it. So I like to tight pull it down and I like to squeeze this part to make it as small as possible. And then twist this a couple times. Okay, that secures everything into your bundle. Okay, look at those beautiful ribbons sticking out of there. I love me some ribbons. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to attach this to a regular frame. But I'm going to use the work frame to show you if that makes sense. So on the work frame, or in, you know what, I have a Dollar Tree frame. Let me get it real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, so here's the difference between a work frame and a regular wire frame. So if you're using one of these type of frames from, this one is from Dollar Tree, so it's a 14 inch. Um, but they come in all sizes from, you can get them at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, Michael's, such and such. Those are the places we have around here. Anywho, 
So you would take it and you're going to wrap it around two of the, ri of the um, rings and then you're just going to pull it tight and then you're just going to twist it. Okay, That's how you would secure it on one of these. Now what I like to do on a frame like this um, is put four or five bundles in each one of these frames um, sections and so I would kind of alternate um, top, middle, bottom, middle, top and kind of alternate in a V pattern or a zigzag pattern and go all the way around the wreath. Okay, So, but since we're in a work frame, I'm going to put this on my work frame because I know work frames I, I are pretty typical to use with like a um, a full roll of mesh and you just kind of loop it around so this is a little different there are two sections here so I think it will be able to grasp onto this rather well okay so that's how we're going to add these to this part of our frame okay I may go and cut these off, honestly. I have, look, this one is missing a piece even. So I think I will cut these off, but I want to show you how to use this before I do that, okay? So let's make another bundle so that if you do have a work frame and you want to use it, you'll know how to do it. So again, we're just going to roll it up. Put that open side down. Grab a ribbon, different one from last time, scrunch it in the middle, put it in the middle. Ooh, it's so pretty. Pipe cleaner, whoops, goes across, fold it up. There's our pipe cleaner. Scrunch. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. See, I'm so used to doing this. Undo, rewind. Rewind. Okay. So we're we're here, okay. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm so used to doing pipe cleaner wreaths that I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so when you do this, you're going to find one of your open ties here. You're gonna put this in here, and then you're just going to twist these, okay. And that's how you would use this. And then when you're done with your wreath, you would kind of like pull these and tuck them back in. Make sense? Okay. But I'm going to cut all these off because I'm not digging it. And like I said, I have a couple that have fallen apart. This is old. I've not used it. So, okay. So we're going to be attaching them all with pipe cleaners after I cut all of these off. So I don't know if they'll cut with scissors or if I need to get out my wire cutters. Let's find out. Wire cutters. All right. Well, I shall return. <laughs> All right, guys. I want to show you where we left off here. Um, I used up two rolls of the blue and white. Well, one roll of each. Um, so I want to show you. I got about halfway around with the mesh and the ribbon. So you can see here in the back, I just kind of, let's see how many is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, about ten in each section. And so I'm just going around filling this in and um, I'm about to cut the, the next rolls of mesh. And you can see here, it's looking pretty good. I really like it. So we're going to cut up some more mesh, finish filling this in, and then it'll be time to add in all of our snowy stuff. So let's get started on cutting some mesh. All right, guys, so now we're going to attach all of our winter objects to our wreath. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some pipe cleaners onto the back of one of the skates. So, 
Um, I already did one here, and I'm just using a regular stapler, and it's doing an okay job. Um, I definitely think a staple gum would be better, but I am going to put hot glue over the top of this as well. So uh, I'm just folding my pipe cleaner in half and kind of giving it a square edge here. And then stapling over the top. Kind of. Well, that one's not working. All right, let's find. I may have to get my staple gun. There we go. And then do one more over here. Okay. It's not the prettiest, but it will hold. And we'll put the hot glue over the top of it so that it'll hold it in nicely. Okay. So I'm just going to do like that. I'll make sure this really gets good in there. Okay. So hot glue gun for some reason is not quite hot. I don't know if I didn't have it plugged in or what's going on with it. But <clears throat> you can see it's still coming out kind of not quite hot enough. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on these. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. But I want my glue gun to have time to really heat up here. Okay. And then we will start attaching everything to the wreath. Um, these, whoops, these little things I'm just going to hot glue on. Um, these and these. And I will figure out how to woo, attach these big snowballs here. So, to be continued. <clears throat> okay, so I have figured out how I want to do my snowflake, or my snowballs. So what I'm doing is, I remember these are the real cottony ones from Hobby Lobby with the sparkles. And I'm just going to open them and dig down kind of deep. Okay, and then hold it, put in a little puddle of blue, take my pipe cleaner in half, and stick it in the glue, and then put this all around it. And then it'll, it'll all just hold together. See that? It's like a little bunny. I'll show you again. So, I'm kind of fluffing these as I pull them out of the bag because they're like super put together in here. So, all right, so you just kind of open them up. Oh, there's the string. That's what I was looking for. Let's try a different side here. Let's go this way. Yeah, you can get a little deeper this way. Okay. Um, if you can find the string, like that one, um, you might be able to loop the pipe cleaner underneath that string. But um, I dug around and couldn't find it. And of course, I'm on, I'm on camera. I was able to find it. Pull that pipe cleaner in half. Stick it right in that glue. And fluff. And this will allow us to take our pipe cleaners and attach it to the frame itself. Because these are rather big. And I am going to hang this on my classroom door. So I um, don't want any of my snowballs to disappear. These are cute snowballs. So, um, okay, I won't do more snowballs right now. I want to show you the next thing I'm going to do with the skate. So I've got my glue here and you can see that's going to really hold you with a staple plus a puddle of glue. So I'm going to glue my skates together because I really like the look of two skates kind of like this 
together. So what I'm going to do is just kind of put some glue on here. Um, you could totally use one skate if you wanted to. But I like the idea of two. smush that together and then my ribbon I want it to be present in my wreath so I'm going to take a little dot of glue just a little one and glue it onto the skate and then this I'm going to leave you know falling feels good looks cute <clears throat> Okay, so the next thing is to attach this to our wreath because that is our focal point. So let's pull our wreath out. Whoa. I know it's large and you might have difficulty seeing it, but I'm going to try my best to show you how to attach this. So basically you want to take all your pipe cleaners and kind of tuck them into the middle. Set your skate to the middle. And you don't want them like down really in the wreath. I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. But I wouldn't like mine to sit on top. So I'm going to put it where I want it. Flip it over while I'm holding it. Take a hold of those pipe cleaners. And we're going to attach it to our wreath frame. And you kind of want to do like a triangle so that your... Um, pipe cleaners really hold with on the frame so you don't have like it all on one side if that makes sense okay so I'm down here at the bottom I know you can't see because my camera angle is um, small I'm doing the same thing I'm just taking those pipe cleaners and I'm attaching it to the wreath frame pulling it tight but not too tight and we want it to stay in the center okay now I'm over here on the side I think I can Oops, scooch you a little bit. So I've got my pipe cleaners here. I'm going to pull it to the side here. Pull it tight. And twist. And now, oh my goodness, you guys. This is so cute. Oh, you are going to fall in love with this wreath when you do it. And I have to tell you, I this ribbon here, that striped ribbon, I love it. You guys have to go grab that at Joann's. It is awesome, awesome ribbon. Okay, so I've got my uh, skates on. So now we're going to attach some of the snowballs. So let me see if I can find a good spot that you can see. Um, I want to kind of lay them out so you can see where they are. Aren't those adorable, you guys? All right, so you've got your pipe cleaners attached to it. So you're going to attach it basically like you did a bundle. You're just going to kind of move around here, find the frame. Now, for this, you don't want to go too tight because you don't want it to really, you're not going to pull it down into the wreath. You're going to just kind of measure where you want it. Now I'm filling underneath for my pipe cleaners. Where are you? There you are. And I'm going to twist it. Did I hit it around there? I think I did. I thought I flipped it. Whoop. Flip it over and see. Yeah. Okay. Let me show you this real quick. I have this bright green um, pipe cleaner so you'll be able to see here. Here it is here. So we're just going to twist it. And if you wanted to add a dab of hot glue to really kind of hold things in place, you can. And there's my snowball. It's a little deeper than I wanted. I might fix that in a minute. But um, yeah, you just 
um, add them wherever you want and just kind of spread them around, kind of do a triangle method where you do three or two or four, not two, three or four to do a triangle or a square. Aren't those so cute? And so the rest of them, once you get in your big stuff, then you can go ahead and add in your little stuff. And remember I had that little sign? I don't know, what do you think? Let it snow, it's kind of, it's white, so it's hard to see. I might add it just because I have it. I don't know. I don't know. That one we'll have to play with and see. So, all right guys, I'm gonna finish putting in my snowballs and then I'm gonna glue my other things on and I'm just simply gonna put hot glue in the back and stick it on the mesh, okay? So you just kind of kind of play with it and see where you want things. Guys, this is so pretty. I don't even want to take it to school. <laughs> I want to keep it in my house. So, all right. So when we get back, you will see a finished product. Okay, guys, here's our finished product. Um, I apologize for my dishwasher running right now, but guys, this wreath turned out so stinking cute. I did go ahead and hot glue on the Let It Snow um, sign, and let me zoom in a little bit here. It is so cute because my little snowflake kind of dangles here, which is so cute. So we just hot glued on these little mini ornaments, the little balls, and what I did was I put the hot glue on the hook part of it and then stuck the hook part through the mesh and then hot glued it. So I hope you've been inspired and you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and happy crafting!